I'm Kyle, and welcome to episode four of the Vervet Forest. Today's episode is full of good stuff, so let's get going. First up, of course, Eileen joined Disneyland with Groot and Jolie and took to them, and they took to her, and that's amazing. Second, Groot and Jolie have progressed like crazy. Jolie has also gotten used to eating forage, so now she's starting to pull grass through the fence, which is pretty cool, so she's picking her own forage. That's an essential skill that she'll need to develop in order to be out in the troop and help herself find food. And the biggest news for Jolie is that she's already using the feeding cage. So the feeding cage is the next step of the foster mother program. The babies basically have to learn how to crawl into this small metal cage that has their milk bottle inside of it. For some babies it's super confusing, but for Jolie she took to it really quick. The basic idea behind the feeding cage is this. Vervets need milk until they're about a year old. So once they're in the troop, we can't be feeding them by hand so they need a place that they can go to drink milk from. So they go inside these feeding cages, and these feeding cages have a small opening, two small holes on the front of it, that are just big enough for the babies to fit into, but too small for the adults and the juvenile vervets to fit into. What this does is, one, it allows a safe place for the babies to go drink their milk, but two, it stops the other vervets from stealing the milk bottles, which is huge because then we'd go through milk bottles faster than we already do. On the back of the cage is a flap that connects to the fence and the volunteers and staff members can then take the milk bottles that are empty out the flap, put new full milk bottles in and the babies can have a constant supply of milk without having to disrupt anything in the troop life. So Groot and Eileen are both all over Jolie, they're following her everywhere. They're both wobbly but Groot's starting to learn how to really jump, Eileen's still kind of hanging out with people. And Jolie is actually climbing on the lower branches and watching the adult vervets in James Troop, which is the closest troop to Disneyland. She's watching the vervets through the fence and just observing their every move. Groot's also tagging along watching with her. I don't really think he knows what he's watching or why he's watching. He's just sort of watching because his cool older sister is watching and that's good enough for him. It's really cool to see them trying to interact with the older vervets. And that's it for this episode of the Vervet Forest. Check back next time to see two new babies, Modin and Peggy. Remember to like and subscribe, and if you're digging what you see or you have some questions, feel free to leave comments. I'd love to answer your questions. Also, if you want to see more clips of the baby monkeys, follow our Instagram at vervet underscore forest. And if you want to learn more about the Vervet Monkey Foundation, check out the Facebook page search the Vervet Monkey Foundation. It's easy to find. There you can find out anything you want to know about being a volunteer or what this place is all about other than the babies. See you next time.